Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Passing Money Plan. Y'all know who we are. Allison Kirby over there somewhere. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, what bat bedroom bathroom combo do we look for when we buy rental properties? You know, is it three, two, two, one, four, one, four, twos, and things like that? With all that being said, Alice, we're going to let you start it off. You know, you got your feet wet in the investment journey now. So, when you're out there scouring the MLS and things like that, what what setup are you looking for when you're looking at rental property? I was hoping to do it the other way so I could piggyback off of you and look smart. But so here I go. So um, I figure like now in today's world, people like to have two bathrooms. So maybe like I try to keep the bathroom count close to the bedroom count. So like it's not that I won't turn down a 3-1, but like if I got to like – I'd be more interested in a three one if I had a tenant in there with good cash flow rather than, hey, this house is unoccupied, but I have someone I could put in. You know, if I see it's a three one, you know, I'm probably more like speaking to the tenant beforehand, like, hey, how do you feel about just one bathroom and stuff like that? But I know people like to be more sophisticated like that. So normally uh, before, looking before you finish wait, before you finish thought I, I just think of this I, I mean i love your part i love your part on the three <laughs> one because this is the only thing i think of on three ones is if it's three bedrooms in there it's one bathroom and somebody in there taking a number two and somebody else got to take a number two i'm like what are they that's the only thing i think of <laughs> i think three that's ones. what i'm saying i know because <laughs> i can i can only imagine for my sake like I drink a lot of water, yeah. coffee, so I'm like always having to go. And I'm like, man, if they're gonna have to drive to the corner store, because you know, oh, that's gonna be brutal. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I just, I just think about it every time I hear three one. That's the only, that's the first thing that pops in my mind. Like, oh man, how how do they work that out? But go ahead, man. <laughs> so normally, if it's like a three bedroom, you know, then I'm like, okay, I'm looking more for like two bathrooms, um, or like let's say in the case of like one here in lakeland two bed two bath that works out perfect um or like a two one is still you know understandable that's not too bad either um but i would say like once it hits that three bedroom mark i'm looking more for like two bathrooms but if it's in like the two and below two bed or two bathrooms is great one is still okay because there's not too many people there that's how i would look at it and and i was just thinking Okay. Sorry. I look at four twos the same way I look at three ones. That I don't I don't know why, but I I, I don't know. I think it just depends how many people, but I think of like if there's like parents and then three kids, I don't know. That's or like four kids or whatever. That's that's a lot. I don't know. A lot you of bring, You bring a childhood drama back to my head. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking in my head, was I gonna tell this story? Cause it's uh I mean, I don't care because uh, like, I, I, I look at myself right? like, huh? You no, I'm talking about my childhood. Yeah, no, I live in a fortune. I know. But, I, but, yeah, like, but I mean, it's only it, it's only three of us here. You know? Exactly. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like it works out like that. But then when you got like all the bedrooms occupied and they all got a shit, because that's the same as if you got, so the master in the bathroom, they're good. But then you got three other bedrooms and they all got to share one bathroom. That's how I, I'm like, oh, crap. I look at it the same way. Yeah, so I, I was debating why you were telling your story. Um, was I gonna tell? All right, so when I was younger, I, I'll tell the story. It, some people might be embarrassed to tell the story. Some people were like, "What the hell?" But um, like I said, three ones is like a childhood drama. I mean, uh, trauma for me. So when we lived in Detroit, we had a three. We had a three two. It was a three two, but the this is in the basement. The toilet never worked. Toilet, toilet, whatever. It never worked. The bathroom in the basement never worked. So we essentially had a three one, and um, so I think I'm all of like eight years old, and I have to go bang number two. I gotta go bang, and then so I break to the bathroom, and then I was about to get in the shower, so I got a towel around my waist, and then I break to the bathroom and. My brother's in the bathroom. But of course, he didn't leave the door unlocked. I'm like, dude, you can forget this. I'm so bad. And he start cracking jokes. He's just cracking jokes, and I'm crying laughing. Crying laughing. 
I'm laughing, standing there laughing, and it just started coming out on the floor. <laughs> I was like, and then, <laughs> and then he, he, he just like, and he still making me laugh, and I'm just laughing and just using the bathroom on the floor while I'm laughing. I was like, childhood trauma. I never forget that day. <laughs> and my brother Dan, you out there? You uh, you owe me for that one. <laughs> but yeah, that that's what happened. And ever since then, I never wanted to be in a one bedroom household again. So three ones, heck no, I won't even touch those. Yeah. But but yeah, so now I, I had to share that story. So now everybody's gonna be looking at me like, oh, on itself. But anyway, so I, I was eight years old. All right. Um. Anyway, so this is this is my breakdown. I mean, I have something. I don't have any three ones. Childhood trauma X out the three ones for me. But I have three twos. I have one ones. I have two ones. I don't have any. Oh no, I do have I do have a four two. I have a four two also. Uh but this is how I look at it. When you're investing in the rental setup, you got to understand what it is. When you're when you're investing in a one one, just know it's going to be a lot of turnover because it's one bedroom, you know, somebody. You know, they get a significant other, they probably want to go to a two bedroom. That's what most people do. If it's two people in the house, they want two bedroom, even though they're going to use one bedroom. I mean, some people will just, you know, brand it out and just stay in a one bedroom, but most people go two bedroom. So the people that's in the one ones, it's always a move up in life. You know, they in a one one just starting out and then they get a pay raise, they get something else. People want bigger. So when you buy one ones, understand the turnover will be high. Uh, two ones you get a uh, longer, uh, a little, I mean, a lot longer stability than one ones. But you'll you'll see in one ones people will try to, you know, it be a mom or father single parent, and they'll have you know two kids, and then they'll have two kids in one bedroom, and then one, but they'll stay there longer because it's way more affordable for the two one than it is a three two. So when you get into the three two realm. I think the three two realm is the happy mix where people will stay longer. They will stay in there longer because, of course, they accumulate stuff. You know, the kids accumulate stuff. They accumulate stuff. Usually they stay in the three two and, you know, then they start finding work in the area. They don't want to move the area. They don't want to move the school districts and things like that. So the three two give you that longer stability. Um, the four two, the four two, um, you know, that's for bigger families and bigger families, you know, come with bigger problems. Um, so before two, I do have, I haven't had anything maintenance wise really going on with it, but tennis has been there since, well, I mean, when I acquired it, then put the tennis in, uh, but I still, the market's still out because the four two is fairly new to me to see how that all shakes out. But I think three, two is the happy mix. Of course, right now, with the increased prices and stuff that's going on, especially in the three two market, uh, cost to buy and the rent, um, I think people, if this economy turns and rolls over some, you're gonna see a lot of people trying to downshift, um, and trying to cram more into the two ones because it's cheaper rent and things of that nature. But those are just how the mixes work. You know, you're gonna deal with a lot of turnover. Is the maintenance cost is a lot less on a one one, but you're gonna get a lot more turnover. Um, and then, like I said, the two one, you, you get, you, you can feel those fairly easy. The one ones, you can, they don't feel it as easy because like I said, the people want that bigger mix of how, how that goes. But I think the preference for me is a three, two. I mean, the rents, you're getting higher rents in that, that, uh, market, especially if you can get a killer deal, three, two is how it works. And then that's just how I look at the whole situation. But my preference is that three, two. With all that being said, guys, uh, let us know what your preference is down below in the comment section or if you have any traumatized uh, stories, <laughs> any trauma stories. Uh, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.